<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my first impressions of Death Stranding, the weirdest brainchild from Hideo Kojima so far. Yeah, so how would I say Death Stranding is, or what is Death Stranding, I guess the better question is, well, it's hard to say really i mean you're basically role playing for the majority of the game as far as i can tell as a fedex delivery guy or ups delivery guy or you know just your generic postal worker the one thing that's kind of interesting though that i found was the fact that the main character you're playing uh, sam porter bridges he is modeled after and voiced by norman Reedus, who i had no idea who that was until i looked it up and apparently he made a name for himself recently in Walking Dead, which I have never seen, so go ahead, sue me, I'm not gonna apologize. So, the gameplay. Let's just skip to the meat of it. The gameplay of Death Stranding. The portion of first impressions, that's just... that's good. Well, I don't know. Okay, so, you're delivering packages. You're walking from point A to point B. Sounds, you know, dull quite boring really it's not the kind of game I would expect to enjoy but you know, I'll get to that eventually during your travels you will have to avoid these things called BTs which are invisible dead creatures that tries and drag you down under to Australia apparently they love their Australian kisses no really okay fine whatever they'll drag you down under into some oily substance and uh, this giant BT will try and eat your face off. The giant BTs look kind of like some weird squid monster from Lovecraft. They have, you know, those tentacle mouths kind of thing. And you don't really, at the start of the game, have any real way of beating them other than just running away like a chicken with your head cut off. Which is, you know, kind of annoying, but you know, you'll get used to it to avoid them. Because that's the main thing you do in the early hours of the game, is just avoid the BTs. You do get some weapons to counteract the BTs after a while. I'm guessing somewhere between 6 to 8, or in my case 10 hours into the game, you get these blood grenades which can actually damage the giant BTs that try and eat your face. Which is, you know, good. Not necessarily the best fights in any type of video game, but it's the thought that counts. It's not a combat-focused game, it's not a combat-heavy game. So, you know, it's the thought that counts, like I said. You do get three other types of grenades, which are based on the fluids you wash down the drain when you take a shower. The fluids you basically piss and EX grenade number two. I probably butchered that, but number two. I'm fairly sure I don't have to explain why it's called number two, what type of fluids that's you know based on. The game does have an interesting cargo management system. I'm just gonna refer to it as a mass system. So, first off, the cargo can take damage. If you smack it into someone's head, it's gonna take damage. If you get knocked over or sucked down under by a BT, it will take damage. If you knock into an overhanging lump of wood, you're, well, you're gonna knock it off your back and it will take damage. Which is the annoying portion of it, but you know, I understand it and bloody hell my phone. Don't scare me like that second portion which I do like is the fact that as you're carrying boxes the more cargo you are carrying the more it will affect your center of gravity so eventually you'll be carrying so many boxes that when you try and turn you will start falling over either to the left or either to the right never forwards never well forwards sometimes really mostly when you're going down the hill and whatnot but as you're falling over, you get the option to, you know, counter lean. Similar to how, like, motorcyclists will lean their bike in a turn, but they will, you know, counter lean their body as not crash into the ground. 
Something similar to that. So if you're falling to the right, you can turn lean to the left, and vice versa. That's the thing I do like, because it's like, I mean, anyone who's ever moved, anyone who's ever carried moving boxes, or ca really carried anything, you can't just stack it up to heaven high and expect to be able to carry it with perfect balance. It couldn't done away with it simply and just said magic, like a lot of other games do about things, but I like this approach, kinda. It's a bit of a, you know, habit of getting into, making sure you don't fall face first into the ground and get the, that face eaten off. Now, I'm roughly 16 hours into the game, and like roughly around the same time I got the blood grenade, so like 6, 8, 10 hours into the game for me, I found a bike. You have to do a mission to be able to build this uh, generator thing to power the bike. The bike is... I have a bit of a love and hate relationship with it. It is amazing on flat ground. But in terrain, it will just get stuck on every little fucking piece of scenery. And especially in a BT infested area, it will basically guarantee a fight with the BT trying to eat your head off. Which, I can understand that they can't have the bike be too OP. I get it, fine. But at least let me be able to drive it without having to be annoyed about the terrain once in a while. But to get back on track, there are two things that I'm just questioning why they have that, really. The first is the capability of, well, walking around, unzipping, and literally taking a piss. Sam can walk around and uh, relieve himself wherever he wishes, assuming there is anything to relieve himself of. Now, the second thing, which is another big why would you do that, is the BB. This little pod you probably have seen in promotional materials and whatnot. It is your constant companion through the game, and you kind of have to take care of it, making sure it doesn't cry too much. So what is the BB? Well, it stands for Bridge Baby, as far as I gather from the story so far and the lore so far. And I can't find a way to put it in any kind of mild manner. It's a fetus in a jar. Quite literally and I'm not even attempting to make a funny joke because it's just one of those things that I ask why did you put that in? Why make your constant companion baby, or not even a baby, a fetus, it even has the umbilical cord still attached. Jesus bloody Christ, Hideo. Why? It's a big shock when you first see it and eventually you do grow used to it, but uh, you know, whenever I think of it, it's still like, why? Eh, not my game though, so not gonna try and judge it too harshly on that. So, what else is there? Like, do I like the game? Well, that's a harder one to answer. I think it's kind of like you either love the game or you hate the game. I don't know where I stand, honestly. It's... I can't even say it's a boring game, because in a sense it is, but not in the sense that you don't want to play it, but rather a boring game in that you take a stroll through nature for most or the early hours of the game at least. And that's really nice when you don't feel like thinking and you just want to do something simple. I mean, one of my favorite casuals, so to say, or casual games or however you want to say it, is Hunter Call of the Wild, which is similar. You just take a stroll through the environment, the nature, the green na trees and bushes and whatnot, and occasionally shoot animals, but that wasn't really the point here. The point was that it's just one of those games that you just pick up and play because? I honestly can't explain it. So would I recommend it? Well, I don't know. It's a matter of your preferences. Some like having a casual game, 
Some prefer hardcore games. I am not gonna judge. I prefer being casual. Hardcore about certain things, but just in general, having a casual game is always nice. One thing I did not touch on though yet is the graphics. The graphics are uh, kind of standard for the games released nowadays, at least in my opinion. I've never been much of a graphics whore, so to say. The thing that does throw me off though is the uncanny valley levels of character detail. At least in the characters you meet face to face. Or just Sam himself. It's just uncanny valley. You can tell something is wrong. Obviously it's a game so they're not real, but you can just something's wrong. Okay, sure, just take my word on that. But that has basically been my quick first impressions rant on Death Stranding. I am gonna try and finish it as soon as I can manage, really. Work, life, sleep. So, thank you for watching and uh, staying around to hear the end of this rant. And, uh, you know, with Corona going around, be safe and take care.